On May 4, 2012, the Friends of Griffin Football held their second annual Coaches Gala at the Cutton Fields Golf Club. 200 people were in attendance. The proceeds raised at this event will go towards the Griffin Football Recruitment Program to help attract the best football talent across Canada to attend the University of Guelph. This year's keynote speakers were Thomas Dimitrov and Jay Glazer. Thomas Dimitrov is a former University of Guelph alumni. He played for the Griffins from 1985 to 1990, was team captain, and won the football team's prestigious Wildman Award in 1990. Thomas is now general manager of the NFL's Atlanta Falcons and has twice been named the NFL Executive of the Year. It was exciting uh, moving around the campus today to see all the change. I think all of us who have played here in some capacity or another uh, respect the fact that we are moving this uh, university towards uh, prominence in so many levels. I've said this last time when we were talking about it uh, during last year's uh, discussion about how proud I was to Dino's point to be involved here. And coming back today reminds me, like every time I come back to Guelph, of how proud I am to have uh, everyone out here as the friends that uh, I do have. And a lot of us have spent a lot of time, um, whether we've played together or, or communicated together at so many levels, uh, I couldn't be prouder to be a part of the, the, the Guelph family, so thank you. Jay Glazer is a sports writer and broadcaster for Fox Sports and an NFL insider for the Fox NFL Sunday television program. Jay is also host of Spike TV's Pros vs. Joes. My dad always told me, if you're loyal and you outwork the world, son, you'll be successful. Now, I think my dad was thinking, my kid's pretty dumb, so i got to make sure that he just outworks everybody. But, but it, it's a loyalty thing. My entire life is built on loyalty, which is why I'm here right now with Thomas. Everything I do is built on loyalty. Um, and the other thing that really got me, really, was my faith. I have an extremely strong faith in God. I'm going to march up. I'm going to go after what I want. And God, I'm going to get knocked down a thousand times. Please just help me get up, brush myself off, and keep going, making that trek. And in that way, God's the greatest best friend you could possibly have. So that's where the friendship comes in on a higher level, on a level over here as well. And that's really where I am. So the value for me is really the greatest thing in the world. It's just to be real. How great of a life is that? Thank you, God. I'm real, and I have a good life. Attendees heard from Brenda Whiteside, Associate Vice President of Student Affairs, Tom Kendall, the Director of Athletics, and Head Football Coach Stu Lang. Sitting with Coach Lang as a guest of honor was former CFL Head Coach and now Hamilton Tiger Cat General Manager Bob Obilovich. As part of a new Coach's Gala tradition, special honor was given to former Griffin and CFL veteran Mike O'Shea, who is now Special Teams Coordinator for the Toronto Argos. Mike was presented with a plaque displaying his University number 51 jersey. This was the first honor jersey awarded to a former Guelph Griffin football alumni. Mike had a stellar 16-year professional career as a linebacker for both the Hamilton Tiger Cats and the Toronto Argonauts. His jersey will now be displayed in the new Performance Center at Alumni Stadium. The evening included a silent auction and raffle. Some of the items up for bid were autographed jerseys by sports celebrities like NHL stars Bobby Orr, Brendan Shanahan, Phil Kessel, Dennis Seidenberg, and Zadino Chara. There were signed jerseys from NFL stars Jamal Charles, Julio Jones, and CFL lineman Chris Greaves. There was a signed jersey from Toronto Blue Jay third baseman Brent Laurie, and a signed bat from former Blue Jay and Baseball Hall of Famer Roberto Alomar. You could also bid on an Atlanta Falcons football helmet signed by NFL executive and keynote speaker Thomas Dimitrov. The Guelph Griffins would like to thank everyone who attended the event and the volunteers who helped make it an evening to remember. Thank you for your continued support of Griffins football and we hope to see you next year.